The officers did have body cameras. Uh, one of them, I think I tried to explain this, one of them uh, was on standby and the memory was full. The other one explained when asked by ISP why it was not turned on, said that um, the, th this was a traffic accident, it wasn't a critical event, and therefore had not turned on his body cam. There were six rounds sh in the bull, although the bull had eight wounds. Six of them we know were from bullets. One of them we believe was from, uh, one wound was from a, hitting the car, the glass wound from the car. One of them was a wound when they did the necropsy on the bull. And there were 12, 12 wounds on Mr. Um, Yantis meaning that there were about 20, there were 20 rounds fired, we can account for 18 of them. 20 rounds fired, including the shots at the bull? At the bull, yes. Yeah. Including the shots at the bull. Yeah. In the whole melee, In 20 the whole, rounds of fire. 20 rounds plus, plus the one from Mr. Yantis. Um, Mrs. Yantis and Mr. Paradis say, well, he was firing, it, it, alongside this pickup, there's a, there's a uh, ditch, a, a deep gully of some sort that then has a culvert that comes underneath the road. And their indication was that he was firing into the ditch. Uh, the officer's perception was that he was firing safe and their, con or excuse me, south. And their, their concern was that he was firing in the direction of an accident scene where we have, uh, we have injured people, we have emergency personnel, there, and we have traffic that has also been allowed to come through the scene. That's, that was their concern. The fact that nearly every aspect of this case, there is a person who will make a statement and there's a countervailing statement by another witness where the officers were which officer it was who had an interaction with Mr. Yantis, whether Mr. Yantis moved his gun or didn't move his gun, where, when the shots w were fired, nearly every aspect of this case is, is, is in conflict among the four primary witnesses that were in close proximity at this scene. That is the complexity. That coupled with the fact that Mr. Yantis' gun was in fact fired uh, is an indication that there was some measure of risk but the answer is, this is a very complicated crime scene. Our, our function, our role, our responsibility is to answer the criminal question, whether there is proof beyond a reasonable doubt that a crime was committed here. And the answer to that question is no. Our focus isn't and should not have been what could have happened differently. What I've tried to express is that this went catastrophically wrong. This should not have happened. Policy questions of what went wrong here, how can it be corrected, those are determined in other forums. That's, that's, not, that's not the focus of a criminal investigation, and it's not the decision that we made. I, I've tried to express my concern for the community that uh, we have a very limited role. That very limited role is to make a determination of whether we have proof beyond a reasonable doubt. We do not. Uh, and justice demands that we not then file criminal charges. And it isn't to assuage you know, feelings of distress. This, this is a community in, that is in extreme distress. And I certainly hope that uh, over time that there can be some healing and some some feel, and one of the things that we've heard most often is that some of these folks don't feel safe in their own homes. I certainly hope they have an opportunity as a community to come together and to resolve some of those issues. That's, that's my great hope.